to new day once again. It's game day. Hello, good morning, little man. Hello, quack quack, quack quack. It's game day, baby. What's up, little guy? You ready for game day? You ready for game day? You ready for game day? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> Watch some YouTube videos or no? No. <laughs> it's too hard. Here with Heather Lamb. How do you think practice went yesterday? Uh, good. <laughs> Jeremy's coming, Pops. Close it. Close it. <laughs> <laughs> Closing your nose. I actually did because I saw a TikTok about it and I tried it. <laughs> I actually did. Not when I was, I was... Uh, you know, coming down to nationals, environment change. How do you think the girls are going to do today? Uh, great. I think it's a very important game for us. Obviously, the first game of nationals. We want to come out, we want to come strong, focus on our game, focus on our task at hand. We had a great practice yesterday coming down here. I'm um, just looking to keep the play simple and keep, uh, keep our game simple and hopefully come away with the first win of nationals here. In to take the draw, Madison Pot for Lake Superior, and Elena Roman for Villanova. Quickly off the draw, it'll be back into the Lakers zone. Side as they send it over to Lauren Kersey, back behind the net. Now out in front, a shot and a score. Lauren Kersey gets this one, and you can tell they're. They're yeah, yeah. going to their goaltender, Sarah, and saying, Sarah, don't worry about this. Yeah, I mean, uh, you could, I mean, absolutely, like I said, go over things <laughs> without me looking down and missing everything. Oh, puck right out in front. Oh, what a save. And do we get a goal? We got a goal. I think we get a goal. The puck came in and it flipped up over. I think Reagan Aykroyd will get credit for the goal. She got the the uh, puck or if there anything like that oh a great save in front as Victoria Misiak tried to double tap in her shot and the game ends and what a way to have it end on Sarah Barsat making two great saves at the end shots end up 42 11 but you got to look at some of the positives here Having fun there? Yeah, I was trying to, to travel a lot of way. <laughs> Let's just say, Steve, you only need to make. Hold on, one more shot. Yeah, you're going to win this. 
Yeah, I'm at uh, 40, uh, 47. Jeremy, are you excited to be here? I'm pumped to be here. I'm very excited. <laughs> In yesterday's game, Lake Superior went one for three on the power play, and Rowan was 0 for two. So face off, and the play is underway. It will be Lake Superior with possession in their own zone. Heather Lamb, Lake Superior State, three on three in the zone. Geary looking for some help. She does get that help to Kalen McColo in front score. It was tipped in. And one of the shortest players on the team gets hugged like crazy. And it is a goal. Here is a potential break coming in is Sewell. She lets it go and a drive score from the top of the left circle. Sophia Germanko will get it. It's two nothing Lake Superior. Here is McColo. Kalen down in low looking in front. They can't. Steal it and a shot up high. Oh, what a spin around shot by Jermanko. And she will get goal number two. Sophie Jermanko with a 180 spin shot. Officials say it's good and off the boards. It'll go to Jermanko looking for three. Jermanko in front, she shoots, she scores. Brought it to the right side, drew everybody to her. And she will get the goal. It is the hat trick now. It's taken by Geary. Three seconds to go. One last shot. The buzzer sounds, and they will not get that off. 8-1 final. Sewell, her third. Jermanko gets the hat trick. McColo on the power play. Gravel gets the only goal for Rowan on the power play, unassisted, shorthanded. Now, day four it is win and move on or lose and go home. Did you know uh, humans are the only animal that brain shrinks? What? Yeah. Oh, it's kind of sad. The helicopter! <laughs> <laughs> Having never been at a national tournament before, how um, are you able to motivate your girls to get them to buy in to come to something that no one has any experience at? Yeah, it's awesome. Um, it's such an experience, like you say. It's been great. Uh, we live by um, live the moment, enjoy the moment. I done been around the world, ain't nobody else that could do it like us with nobody help. When the chips about to fall and I back against the wild, no, it's only one place I call. Wild Rose Lee, oh, 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 o
And the Boston College Eagles, number one in the Northeast. It'll be Boston College skating from the left to the right and from the right to the left. Close to the left side, a drive that's partially blocked. And came off the stick of fields and we come the other way. Past the broken stick. Right side, Makolo. Here to the left side, drive, score! It is a two to one game. And the pass comes over to the right side. Michaela Sewell will get the goal. Gotta give credit to number 12. Kaylin McCullough brought that puck over the line and she dipsy dude. And Boston College in six seconds will move on to the semifinals. And that'll do it. The buzzer sounds and the Boston College Eagles move on to the semifinals. They are hugging their goaltender, Abby Buckley, who came up with spectacular saves late in the game. And she keeps their team in the hunt for the Women's Division II National Championship.